majority of batteries used in electric vehicles are called lithium-ion batteries. Lithium-ion batteries are made of a number of metals that have been refined and amalgamated into the battery material. And those materials include lithium, cobalt, and manganese, nickel, uh, and a variety of other materials like graphite and copper. The process of turning rock into things that roll is enormously energy intensive. Most of us don't really make this connection between you know, electric vehicle being good and the amount of energy it takes to physically create it. Global supply chains are complex. You're taking raw materials from Western Australia, Congo, and a variety of other locations. You might refine in China, you might be producing a battery in South Korea or Poland or North America, and then you're shipping that battery to a car production plant. It's an enormous amount of movement of materials. Quite a lot of these raw materials come from very small artisanal mine sites, people digging with picks and shovels. The conditions in some mines are very, very dangerous. Standing on the edge of a pit and looking out and being like, where do all of these materials go? I think that is so important. So when I was working in the mining industry, it was a very opaque industry. The bad players are causing damage to the environment and the livelihoods of the communities around the mine or situated on the mine. Circular is a technology business originally founded in London. Our business is traceability in complex industrial supply chains. And that means helping manufacturers to understand what is going on in their supply chains in order that they can start to manage risks. The technologies that we use to, to do this are a combination of traditional databases, blockchain, and machine learning. The role that the blockchain plays is that it creates immutable records. Records can't be changed, which means that history can't be rewritten if it subsequently proves to be inconvenient. I work at Polestar and I lead the sustainability team. We make electric cars. You work with your suppliers to ensure that the supply chain is working in a responsible way. The idea is to create a digital twin of a physical commodity and then to follow that digital twin as it undergoes its journey of transformation from source to end use. Circular's platform is shadowing what is happening on the mine site. And we're constantly checking that the data that is being provided to Circular is representing what we understand to be happening. You're actually seeing what's going on in the supply chain, but also that data cannot be tampered with. It's a really powerful tool for fighting the, the corruption. Electric vehicles are supposed to be better for the planet, and they have the potential to be. But it isn't right that something that we're relying on to make the energy transition real should either damage people or planet. And what manufacturers like Polestar are trying to do is find the more sustainable manufacturers in the supply chain and make sure that what they are inheriting is produced more sustainably. We truly believe that we can redefine what traceability and transparency is within this decade. And that just gives me a lot of hope. Agriculture provides the backbone of livelihoods in rural Tanzania and the foundation of the nation's economy. However, it is increasingly under stress from climate change, with a reduction in rainfall seeing areas such as Zeze face drought and crop diseases, significantly reducing overall yields. Temperature shocks and a lack of modern agricultural technology, as well as income poverty, has forced some farmers to turn to encroaching onto virgin lands, logging and burning timber. Plant Village's mission is to enable smallholder farmers to mitigate these adversities via the use of mobile phone technology. Using a smartphone app with built-in artificial intelligence software, farmers can detect plant diseases at an early stage. The new RU app operates both online and offline where connection is lacking, using brightly coloured boxes and tags to identify disease type and primary problem areas. Cassava disease and fall armyworm, for example, common enemies of smallholder farmers, are identified immediately. Experts have been integral to the app's creation and success, consulting on different crop types and diseases to make the AI as accurate as possible. In turn, farmers are advised on the best course of action to take. With data stored in the cloud, information is pooled, allowing trends to be mapped and farms to be monitored, with soil, water and growth data collated alongside pest data. 
tailored solutions and better predictions on what yields farmers can expect enable smallholder farmers to change the crops they plant, sidestepping seed abortion, for instance. More drought-tolerant crops and income diversification strategies can instead be advised, such as how to fully maximise cassava plant use. Trust is core to project success. Strong relationships within communities are integral in enabling the adoption of these state-of-the-art technologies and a shift in mindset.